Rodriguez, I mean, they're saying he's in talks right now and trying to come, you know, together and, and get a deal with the Major League Baseball as far as accepting suspensions and, you know, why would he? I mean, you have to come after him. I mean, I wouldn't. I'm not going to be your scapegoat. I mean, before, if you didn't crack down on him, you know, you had just, you know, the guy was didn't want to resign any contract. You were going to going to lose him, you know, and now you resigned him into this major deal and somehow you didn't know these things. That's the thing I want to get into. Stop talking about holding only the players responsible for this thing. Why not let's start holding the organization responsible? They get all they get out of you, out of your arm and out of you using those steroids. They don't mind you doing those things as long as it's producing on, on, the, on the field or the, or the court or wherever. But as soon as it, you, you, you take a, uh, you, you, you hit, hit the blunt, oh, they got a problem with that. That's a violation of team rules. That you're going to get a suspension for. That we a jump in for. That we're going to go into your contract and articulate, you know, uh, measures to prevent these things from happening. And if so, you lose a couple million dollars. We're we going to go in your pockets if you do that. That you will do. They have no ownership, no responsibility over anything. It's all on the players. And somehow even down to its, it's own Congress and all these people to get involved to do it. No, man, start blaming those people right there on the team. That's making the money. You're profiting off of them. Don't try to vilify this guy. You know, what's the point? Of course he, of course he doing it. Most of them are. And when those names going to be released or some of the top, of course, it's going to come out like it was before. We know that. That's been out of there. It's not wrestling. We still thinking that it's real. We know it's fake. We know what you guys are doing. We know you souped up. What? Who, who are you trying to fool? But these are, this is the only organization that's not responsible for this stuff. Stop taking the money out of them, them players' pocket. They're already getting robbed already with these ridiculous standards that they have. Even you go down to the college ranks, the, the college players, the universities are, are required. Are, and they, that's why people run to the pros. You got Pete Carroll's, you got the Chip Kelly's. These guys just run off as soon as they all players take. They just go back, back to the ghetto you go. No career, your career over you, shame. Give me the Heidman Trophy back, even when you in the pros. But this guy can just dip out and he's good. You know, Chip Kelly sent back a letter saying, oh, my bad. <laughs> and you just accept that. But he knows what he's doing the whole time while he's winning, and it catapults him up into get a, a coaching job. Not just a co coaching job, but in the city of brotherly love in Philly. One of the best places, the best markets, and best organizations to work for. Man, give these guys some penalties for that. Until then, you're not going to clean it up. Don't tell me we're going to use this scapegoat or this scapegoat or this guy or that guy is going to take the fall and the brunt of all that. It's not going to happen. Period. Be real. If you want to change it, get into the pockets of them organizations that are holding them responsible. Just like they did in the college game, they know what's going to happen. But the thing is, it's tax-free. It's tax-free. It's, it, it's tax oh, it's not a real professional sport. So everybody has something to lose from that. They're going to make sure you play by the rules. Oh, you're going to play by the rules down to the players. Somebody gives you a piece of pizza, you, you better not take it as a player. These guys can accept a souped-up athlete that's going to bring millions into to their pocket. Stop it. Start, start making some type of something. They don't have no reason. They just sit back. Maybe get a call from baseball when they tie. And it's still, even Alex Rodriguez, he was one of the guys that was in there, but it was none disclosed. It was supposed to be sealed. Nobody was supposed to know about it from before. His affiliations with these type of things. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to come back. He's like, what are you talking about? I've been doing this from jump. You know I've been doing this. You're going to wait till I'm almost 30. You think I'm going to let you kick me out, suspend me? So by the time I come back, I'm going to take a two-year, $8 million deal or something like that? And I'm A-Rod, and I'm used to making hundreds of million dollars, signing hundred million dollar deal. Please, no. Prove it. If you do it, you're going to have to bring all of them down. You're going to have to show that you know about all of this. So there's no real effort to clean up baseball, man. We know it's just like wrestling. It's just like boxing before. It's dead. Who, as far as that goes, I'm not falling around trying to figure out who's doped up. Probably all of them are. You want to wait till the guy's 30? Now you want to do something on his way out, 
get out of here. No, and I don't blame them. You're going to have to take me down. You're not taking my money while I'm at the end of my reign. Now you want me to be the scapegoat. Look, we'll come out there. Yeah, you come out there when you're 30 years old. Yeah. Try, you sealed them before when, he, when, he, when you knew about it. Don't come to me as no organization like you surprised or whatever. He making up fake stories about his injuries. You been knew how this goes. He dip off somewhere. All you know is he come back hitting, hitting 300 again. All right, that's all you know. That's all you know. And that's all you care about. So don't act new now. Don't act brand new now. It is what it is.